Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial series. Today we start with a black project and we'll apply basic movements. So start the engine and create a new black project here. And of course give it a name. I will give it just tutorial as a name. Create the project. And as it loads I will just briefly explain what I want to do. I will try to uh, make now some small basic tutorials, one after one, and building upon the old tutorial, so you get a little bit of a, yeah, uh, yeah, knowing how to make a, yeah, a game, at least. And yeah, that's it. And if you have any tips, questions, or wishes for me, or for this series, what we should implement into this series, then just uh, comment under this video or the next video so I can take this uh, in consideration to implement it. Yeah, so it uh, loads. So let's start here. Yeah, let's first click here on the content folder and create a new folder which will be our main blueprints folder. And before we start working with the uh, project settings, let's improve our visual landscape or a visual word. So here a small tip is if you type in sky and put in the skylight here, this gives this bit of a bluish reflection on all objects and yeah this is how most of the um yeah guys I know from YouTube use this. So this is just a basic work here. You can play with the light here. If you want to have a reflection here red you can play with this value but I will just leave it as it is as white so yeah next up we need um, the characters click here on character call this main character or whatever you like to call him and from there we want to set the, the default uh, yeah game uh, pawn to this main character so click on the world Oh no, not on the world. Go here to Windows. And here we have word settings from this level. And under game mode, create a new game mode. And to our uh, blueprints folder, call this main game mode. If you have a cool game name for your game, you can just call it whatever your uh, game is called. So GTA, for example, or arc game mode or whatever. So I just call this main game mode. And now we can uh, click here on the drop down and under default pawn can select our main character. So and click on save so we can actually uh, save our map. Then on content create a new folder called map. And this will be just the main map. Oh my mistake. Of course it's main map, main mouth, like this. Save everything up. Now just um, open your project settings, go under maps and modes and here we also need to make the main game mode of the default game mode. Then under selected one it will automatically make the main character. And under editor startup map we will just start now with the main map. And now if we start play can see this uh, actor here is set to main character. So now we can't move at all. So let's add this functionality. So back into our project settings. Go here into input. And under axis mapping, let's create the first forward and backward moving. movement. Forward, backslash, backward. And for this we need first two points, so this is W, this is S, here, and the scale, uh, one is the scale for the velocity going forward, and minus one is the uh, velocity for going backward. If you want to have more, you can just add here more. I will just use uh, the keyboard, and we'll use the up here, and down. So you can move with W and S and up and down. And let's, oops, this not, and 
and let's create another movement axis mapping, which will be our right, left, and let's add one more. So first we have here A. So there, scroll down, add the D. Just scroll down. The A is the one with minus one, and this one is with one. So let's get here left. Just minus one and right. Like this. So you can just close this, it will automatically save this. And now let's get into the main character. So just pull it in here at the top and open the full blueprint. So let's get rid of those settings here and let's get our move forward or just a forward backward and let's get our left right right left right left there it is like this and from this you pull off a note and just add movement input like this one and from this one too get the x value this is the one and minus one which will go into scale value and here of course two now let's get the controller or at least the controller rotation so we can uh, get the player state rotate and we want to break the rotator get only this whoops not make nose want to make rotator only get here the z value and we get here only to get forward vector so we have only the world direction of the forward z and this one will go here and the right vector will go here so this is the thing so now we can play and if we press left right or a d what you want you can see that my character is moving so yeah that's all for this small tutorial. We can make this here a bit better with the space and everything. You can also select everything, press C and comment this with basic movement. And if you like, you can change the color. And if we are stuck now with color, you can also edit the blueprints, uh, the folder color. So just right click on the folder, set color, and let's make this green because we're working with this at the moment. Like this. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial we will make some camera movement. And then we will also add characters from different sources like Maxamo or Death. And we will change between um, first person and third person. So these are the plans for the next videos. If you have more ideas, just uh, leave a comment and I will add it. So, thanks for watching and yeah, have a nice day. Bye.